So here we go. Talking about those LFTs that I promised you. Okay? And we said this is the one with the X pattern. Yeah. So let's see. Let's think back. We were saying we're going to use numbers like 5 from our magic number sequence. And we're also going to use the number 3. And wow. You won't believe how we're going to use this because that, that's all you need to know for this thing, pretty much. Uh, so, what are the parts of this? So, LFT, what was that? Liver function test. Okay. So, here we go. We've got, we're going to have your total billy up here. Total billy. All right. Our billy ruler. Then our liver enzyme. Our AST and ALT, and at the bottom, ALP. All right, again, total bilirubin, AST, ALT, and ALP. Okay, then we set our numbers to work with for our magic number sequence, three and five. So, here we go. Uh, and this is going to bounce off of that mirror concept. And if you notice, right, as we look at the, the summation sheet, I listed this underneath the musculoskeletal. They tend to have kind of the same setup here. Both are mirror-like. So where calcium and magnesium were mirrored in the musculoskeletal, this time the AST and the ALT will be mirrored. Okay. So what am I getting at? Here we go. All right, so total billy, super easy. What? Less than one. Can't beat that, right? Then, as we look at our AST, what? Zero to what? Three and five. Zero to 35. Then on the opposite side, our ALT, what? Zero to 35 again. Then in the bottom, the ALP. 35 to what? 135. Right. So what? This is this thing is basically 35 all over the place. And, and it goes like this. So these two are the same. They're mirror reflections. AST and ALT. 0 to 35. Super easy, right? But what's different about these in the middle? They're different than the ones on the side by a number 1. So total billy being different in that is just less than one, but no 35. And then here at the bottom, it's different by the number one, 35 and 135. And incidentally, straight up and down like this, you can connect the ones and, and write a number one in there and connect those two. That's what they're different by. So. Total Billy, AST, ALT, and ALP. But now, let's make a special note about ALP as this tends to show up on your testing again. And the reasoning is that this one, this ALP, which is alkaline phosphatase, by the way, um, and, and let's, start, let's thread this needle where, see, in this same lower position, if you think back to the musculoskeletal, what was in the space up in the musculoskeletal fishbone? In that lower part, it was phosphorus, correct? This time, in the LFT study, is alkaline phosphatase. Yeah, so it's taking that same spot, by the way. Similarly, it tends to be a reflection of a bit of a competition between phosphorus in a way and calcium because, excuse me, if you have a patient, let's say we had a patient who she had a mass on her breast, let's say three months ago. And she comes back and we're like, ah, you know, we see a little bit of a calcification there, we think. Uh, we'll see you back in three months. Well, three months she comes back, and her ALP is 
200, you know, it's probably ridiculous, but 200, and since it's so high, and she had a mask on her breast, and then she shows up in the clinic, and she says, her leg has been bothering her, right? And you're doing your assessment, it's like, your leg's bothering you, does it feel like your, your muscles, what, what, what's going on? Yeah, no, it feels like it's, it's deeper in, right? Yikes, okay? And you start to get worried that that mass, or whatever that was on her breast a couple months ago, has metastasized to her bone, potentially, and the tumor in her bone is displacing calcium, right? And one of the indications that there's potentially a mass is that her ALP is elevated. Now, let's not stop there, because we said this is what study? A liver function test. So, if the mass happened to not be in her leg, and she was complaining that her side hurt, right? On the right side here. Okay. Where might she have the mass? She might have a mass in her liver. Okay. So LFTs can be reflective of things going on with the liver or potentially bony diseases and things of that nature and in that similar fashion, keeping an eye on the alkaline phosphate. So, again, our magic numbers, three and five, help you get this thing done. No sweat. LFTs, stay tuned.